position. It's about this. We'll keep our talk up in Z, all right? All right, keep it safe and slow. Keep it testing. Canadian coaches, uh, Zimbabwe born, Liam Middleton, here's Dicky Tafur. Dicky was the coach in 2007 when Samoa won here on a beautiful night with uh, some fantastic rugby. But there's uh, Tim Nano Will Williams in the middle of the screen. He's coming off the bench in this game. He's the ex New Zealand player. As uh, number nine, John O'Malo is an ex New Zealand player under the new rules for qualification for the Olympic Games. You can change your nation. So Nano Williams and Malo, John O'Malo, have done that, and they're in the Samoa team now. Second half begins with a narrow lead to Canada, and they played that ball in advance of the 10 meter mark. So play goes on. It goes white. The pass coming in from Fulafal. Now Lucas Hammond. Well, good run here by Moonlight. He's a big man. He's not particularly quick, but he's tough. And he gets there. And a good piece of positive work here by Canada. Number seven, Lucas Hammond, toss up the ball. And it's a fantastic run to the line there. By John Moonlight, good strength to get away from the, the Samoan defence. Here we see again a slight gap there. Moonlight takes the ball. He backs himself, throws a dummy, and bumps off the attempted tackle of Merloy and goes over the line. I tell you what was interesting from down here, fellas, watching it at real time is just the pace. We've seen the work that Moonlight did in securing possession earlier on, but he got there, he has the ability to reach out, and he does so. There's so much hard work on defence in the first half. Well, good reward for a great captain. Thank you, Willie Losay, down on the sideline, getting the sideline view. 14 points to five. Wasn't held. And some are under the pump at the moment. Canada have got the ball back. It's only 14-5, still five to go. They swing it right back to Moonlight, the try scorer. He's taken a good physical take forward. There's Tane Lamb, number four. Oh, space here for Hammond. And over goes Lucas Hammond. Nice touch there with the uh, New Zealand leading female referees involved in the assistant referees' roles here. There is a core panel of uh, touring referees who are all male, but the New Zealand leading female refer referees are here as as well. So, so there's the signal from uh, the try scored. Now Canada three converted tries, 21 to five. And a nice little touch here right at the end of that after Hammond scoring that try by uh, from Moonlight. He had done the work when it was finished off. Congratulating his back for scoring the try after his hard work. So tough times for Samoa at the moment as they uh, face a 5-21 to 21, uh, deficit at the moment after scoring first. Now, here it is with Liam Underwood. Had a few injury problems Underwood, but he's looking sharp there. Nice pick up in midfield. Here comes Moonlight again. 
O'Connor trainer. Uh oh. Lolo Louis is on. And trainer number five and Moonlight number four getting Time a bit. Uh, We're playing the scrum. Bit stroppy. Seven. Yes. And there's Lolo Louis. The night they won the final here all those years ago, he kicked a glorious goal to win it for Samoa. Time is on. Bit of a veteran now, 33 years of age. Played in the 15s and the 7s World Cups. Fine. Sunny Nui. Yeah, and a slight bit of frustration is in there, but Samoa, if they get their ball out wide, use it well, they can get back into this game. There's still plenty of time left on the clock. So running it here is Toloa. Back after injuries, a very speedy runner is Samoa Toloa. And that was the captain is on, Rupena Lavasso, another uh, hardened veteran player. And it's stolen away this time by Harry Jones. Oh, man, knocked over in the background. The flag might go out for that one. Meantime, the try has been scored by Admir Chivanovic. And uh, man was knocked aside in the background. Frustration, perhaps, for the Samoan team. We'll uh, hear a report now yeah. from the referee's assistant. Yeah. Your recommendation? I think it was just very wide. I think it's late. I saw the corner of it. I think it's a yellow, especially after what we've seen. But thank you. Number seven blue. OK, seven blue. Seven blue. And Let's here we see the action yeah, yeah, yeah. here taken forward by, uh, by Canada. Good dangerous. work, up muscle. We'll go, please. Well, he's taken well out of play. Please. Carrier and uh, the touch judge made a recommendation, recommendation of nothing Time for on. that. See it in the background there. Uh, there's a fairly strong block by Lolo Louis, and for that, on the referee's recommendation, has gone to the bin. There he goes. Two minutes out of the game. Frustration starting to take over, and that's been the biggest problem for Samoa over the weekend. Lovely work earlier, though, Dallas by Connor Trainer. He got the initial turnover at the breakdown and then from there infringement from Louis and the try. Yeah, you're absolutely right right there, Willie. They've run out of options some more and Canada are just taking the game to them. So Samoa with Jonathan Marlow, John O'Marlow, the ex New Zealand player, played one tournament up in Las Vegas a couple of years ago against the blue team. And now he's playing for them. That's a nice run by him. He's a very quick player. And uh, love us. But now gets it away to big Sam Franklin, who's off the bench. This is the ex rugby league man. He's given it heaps. He's given it plenty. And gets the reward, Sam Franklin. And that's the sort of play we need from Samoa. Sam Franklin injects himself into the game. Pushes up the attempt to tackle a Blair Underwood and just sets his sights for the line. Unfortunately for Samoa, it's too little too late. Perhaps he should have been injected into the game much earlier because he's led the Samoa team as soon as he got on the field. So he's uh, out of Auckland. He's a New Zealand uh, player for the, the Suburbs Club in Auckland. Uh, Sam Franklin, he's one of the new guys. He's got people still coming off. 26 to 10. What's going on, guys? Just seconds to go. Canada have got to take some guys off the field. They had eight on the field for the restart. And there's uh, John O'Malo, who plays for Waikato in the New Zealand scene. And he says that uh, he began his rugby in Wellington at the North Club in uh, Porirua, Second north of forward. the city. Regards that as his favourite place. That's him in number nine with the ball now. John O'Malo. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Underwood will be looking for his ribs a little bit later on. And he ran past me when he went to score the try, Franklin. It was like a mini eclipse. Well, he, he, well, he took out the light. Well, he, that's what you're trying to say? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Very good. I like it. Fine. So, Marlo. Set. So here's the last chance for 
Samoa to show us something. This is the Shield final. They'll be disappointed to be losing here. There's their captain, Rupina Lavasa, driving in over the top of Sam Franklin. That try that he scored there a moment ago might earn him some more time on the field rather than coming off the bench in future matches. Meantime, the final whistle has gone, and Canada come out of it with a good win by 26 to 10, and they take the Shield final which is the level four final here in the HSBC Sevens World Series events. So Canada, some consolation for them here in Wellington. Presentation shortly for the Shield final. Remember, we've got uh, three other finals and a third, fourth playoffs game to come. France, Argentina is next in the bowl final. The plate final is Fiji against Australia. Then the bronze medal match, third and fourth playoff between Scotland and South Africa. And then the Championship Cup final between England and New Zealand. Goodness me, Goldfinger, is that the uh, uh, selfie too, of course? Ladies and gentlemen, time for the presentation now of Shield. Wellington Sevens tournament and attendance will be presented by Wellington City Councillor Joe Coughlin and Stuart Chuck, the Managing Director of Sentinel Homes, naming rights sponsor of the Sentinel Homes Sevens here in Wellington. John Barclay, Head of Corporate Sales, New Zealand HSBC, also on stage. We'll be shaking hands with the team as they receive their pendants. So let's bring them up onto the stage now. Samoa. So Samoa come up onto the stage. There is Joe Coggan, Wellington City Councillor, making the presentation of the pendants alongside Stuart Shutt, the Managing Director of Sentinel Homes, the sponsors of the Sentinel Homes Wellington Sevens. And also there is John Buckley, the head of corporate sales, HSBC New Zealand. So probably disappointment for Samoa, and they'll be looking to do better in the tournaments which lie ahead. Yeah, absolutely. They've got uh, people like Tim Nunai Williams, and he's another person that's going to have to step up as well. A lot of young faces in there, but they will do very well with this experience and take them into the future. In time, here comes Canada with their captain, John Moonlight, Connor Trainer as well. These are big, powerful men who won their final by 26 points to 10. There's the Maple Leaf flying proudly. Uh, number seven, Lucas Hammond. And there's uh, Liam Underwood. He's uh, recovered from the heavy thump so near the end. The shield will be presented by Joe Cogland to Canada. So there it is, round four of the HSBC Sevens World Series. The Shield competition has been won by Canada, beating Samoa by 26 to 10 on a sunlit Wellington afternoon. And in goes Captain John Moonlight. And there it is, well played Canada in the Shield final. Only four more games to go, folks. It's here down the field now. The costume catwalk has been fantastic.
So there's the Canadian side winners of the Shield here in Wellington. The 2015 tournament. They will take something from that, Canada, but a long way to go as they rebuild their sevens program under Leah Middleton. Kind of in a transition stage, aren't they? Carl Tenana, former New Zealand sevens captain, joining me as we look ahead to the bowl final. They'll be happy to take something, some pride, some points, but they still seem to be missing a couple of key links in their tournament play. Yeah, most definitely, Scotty. But at the end of the day, it's all about trophies, and that's what they come away with. A lot of big players missing. Some great action over the weekend. Well, we've seen the hits, we've seen the steps, we've seen the tries, we've seen the dives, we've seen the rolls. And the fans that have turned out here in Wellington have been treated to a fine tournament. So many close games, so many key moments. Greg Foyt on fire for Samoa earlier today. And the New Zealand seven side, Gillies Kaka, stepping up in the quarterfinal and semi-final of the cup. England coming back against Scotland. They were 19 nil down at one stage. They came back to clinch victory after the Hooter. We are set for a cracking cup final later on.